All right, it's time to begin. First, we spill in a mop package. I think we don't need to go and don't eat some there, some stuff, you know. Uh, uh, dispose, 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 dispose. I have no food. Are you there? Yeah. Uh, where are you? In the fortress, in Groznygrad. Dr. Sokolov is here, too. Is he all right? He's fine. Right now he's busy putting the finishing touches on the Shagglehot. Good. That means they haven't killed him. Not yet, anyway. But you better hurry. They've already finished the Phase Two tests. Once the final preparations are complete, they'll have no more use for him. I got The you. Colonel won't have any qualms about killing him if he thinks the CIA is closing in. Eva, you can't let Sokolov out of your sight. I know. Snake, do you know where Groznygrad is? Granin told me that I should be able to get there from the mountains to the north, through an underground tunnel. Granin told you? Yeah. He even gave me the key to the warehouse. Why? Because he was drunk, I guess. You've got to be kidding me. Hell if I know. Snake, there's one problem with that route. What problem? The mountain entrance to the underground tunnel that leads to the fortress is sealed. You need a key to get in. Where do I get a key? From? What about the key Granin gave me? That key won't work. But don't worry, I'll figure something out. I have an idea. There are some ruins at the top of the mountains. Meet me there. The top of the mountains. Got it. Oh, Wait, there's something else I've got to tell you. Now what? I heard that one of the Cobras is waiting for you in the jungle at the foot of the mountains. Yes. He's a legendary sniper called The End. Yeah, I've seen him before. That ridiculously old guy, right? Don't underestimate him. He's known as the father of modern sniping. Is he alone? No spotter? None. He's all by himself. Apparently, he doesn't need a spotter. You can't be serious. The entire forest is on his side. The forest. Stay alert. Yeah. I'd hate to have it be the end for me. <laughs> nice. Look for food. What's that? Point. Okay, I got a bunch of false Russian mangoes. Ha! <laughs> 
Still running? I believe shoot me better, but that's fine. Yep, yeah, no, I'm still being seen.
very quiet. Don't move. Huh? Is somebody there? Come in, H. Who's that? No. Nope. This is H. No. Unable to determine the problem. Understood. Return to your position. Be gone! Fort!
Bye. You think they heard me? What the? What just ding dong my door? Oh my god. Thank heavens. So, that was the realty company that's developing the land behind our house that has ripped a tree off our property. And also, yesterday, a tree fell from all the work they were doing and almost landed on our house and is now laying across my backyard. And uh, I, we were going to contact the courts about all this. We'd already messaged Lennar and they had, you know, or the company or whatever, and they had, you know, not contacted us back about the fact that they had mulched pet graves, ripped a tree out of the ground, and now a tree almost fell on us that had never shown any signs of falling until they did work around it. So, it's just, you know, hopefully we can get the ball rolling on some fucking shit about this, because it's been a hell. How are y'all? I'm back. Thank God for the pause button. It looks like I'm a little hackish. Eat the coral snake. Mm. Ah, pretty tasty. Pretty tasty. I see that trap. Wait, are both different directions? Definitely going different directions. Oh, we're going the other way first. Always go left first. My nose is all dry and congested. And that makes it feel really weird. So grabbing all south. Ah shit. I beg of you, grant me the strength to take this final prey. Let me linger in this world just a little longer. I have already slept enough for one lifetime. Enough for an eternity. You have my thanks. I have to thank you for waking me. If you hadn't shown up, my sleep would have been eternal. Yeah, if you wait, you're in game clock. Don't just die of old age. Make 
a fine quarry for my final hunt. sniper you were talking about that's the end he's a legend known as the father of sniping your mom is the mother of sniping in piping? urban and marine environments <sighs> what about the forest never i see well that forest is divided into three areas a river a plateau and a clearing he should be lying in wait for you in one of those places sounds like this may take a while it'll be a test of endurance be careful though from what i've heard the end has an almost supernatural knack for camouflaging we'll himself. See about that. So, whoever moves first loses. This guy's over a hundred years old, though, so I should have the advantage in terms of stamina. I wouldn't be so sure if I were you. Why's that? I've heard that his body is photosynthetic, like a plant. What is he, some kind of monster? On top of that, he can speak to the forest, too. So, in other words, he knows it inside out. Uh-huh. But he doesn't know you. I'm sure you can beat him. Don't worry. I intend to. <laughs> Wait, how did I come in? I want to go the other route. Will he, will he be here if I just go? Or just be there. Whoop. Who's that? Oh, I thought they were still asleep. They're not asleep. Control here. We've lost sight of the intruder. Going into high alert. Acknowledged. The enemy is still nearby. Pursue and engage him. What is this house?
everyone go away. Keep going back up.
doing good. Oh wow, I didn't realize how many were in here. Holy shit. What's wrong? What's wrong? Ain't nobody here, guys. Hit. 
HQ, please respond. This is HQ. Patrol here. We've lost sight of the intruder. Going into high alert. I was never here, bro. Acknowledge, but the enemy is still nearby. Pursue and engage him. Open that door, bro. Okay, every time they find a guy to wake up, I, I lose time. So I'm just not gonna shoot anybody. I'm just gonna hang out here on the roof. I'm gonna wash your hoodie. You wipe it sweat on it like this. I'm never here, was never here. I don't know what to argue about. This is HQ. Patrol here. The situation is normal. Understood. Return to your position. Damn it, all that for food.
The enemy's here. HQ, please respond. Fucking nothing, nothing happened. Go away. Man, I really expected something more. I mean, we did get the M37 machine gun. That's worthwhile. Everything seems in order. What's wrong? What's wrong? Yeah. this time. Nothing. Okay. Welcome back, Snake. I've been waiting for you. <coughs> Do I have good camouflage? For his camouflage. That voice sounded like it was coming from this direction. I don't think I want the vantage point. Hello? Grandpa? Grandpa, where are you at? Oh, pop, pop. Hey, papa. Grandpappy. Pee pa, poo pa, pa 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 pa. Most of it I can't pick up.
How do I zoom? Fucking bullshit. Let go of it, let go of it, damn it! He shot all oh, that bitch ass. In my head. Get those fuckers out of me. I want some more. Camouflage for being up here. What are you trying to do? Where the hell does this go? Where the hell am I at now? Oh, this forest has three sections. Okay, well I feel like he's still in this section, right? Probably. Ooh, it's raining. Okay. 
go that way. Napping. Yes. Going? Where are you going? Where are you going, bitch? Where do you think you're going? Hold on a fucking second. Guiding over here. We're just getting started. Yeah, we fucking are. Come back, bitch. I see him. I saw his fucking little head. Yep, there he goes. Where are you going, motherfucker? Did you get to leave this battle? Hi. Yeah, I didn't do fucking jack shit. Where do you think you're going, motherfucker? Fucking done. You wanted to play this game, old man. Is that your parrot that I killed? I bet that was your fucking parrot that I killed. Steps went this way. Oh. What? 
motherfucker! E ma du. Yeah, we ain't having a sniper battle. We're having a I'm hunting you through the jungle battle. Spirits of the forest, I thank you. The boss would be proud of you. The time has come for a younger generation to rise. I've been wandering for more than a century, and now my journey comes I'll to I'll give you this old us. man for being fucking a hundred. Oh, that's a cool. splendid way to end it all. I have no regrets. I can return to the forum of uh, Why did his teeth fly out? Why does everyone explode? I really want to know why everyone explodes. Do I not get camo from killing him? Hello? Looking that up. Do I get camo for killing the end? Because, like, man, I want it. When you aimed at his head three times, I don't know if I got that. It says that he dropped it while shooting him. Like, he'll just drop it off of him while you shot him. Which means I probably did get it off of him and just didn't notice it. Damn it. Well, I didn't get the moss camouflage, which would have been dope. I'm gonna go check that back area real quick. Cause when I shot him the fuck up with the minigun, like, I heard shit drop besides that, like, I saw a couple things drop, but I don't remember where it was. I'm guessing I just didn't get it. That's fine. I did beat him the cheap way, not the sniper way. I just chased him down with a bucket M36 and just lit him the fuck up. Man, modern problems call for modern solutions. Let's get out of this camo. Ba -ba -ba -da -da -dum -ba -ba -ba. Oh, I'm 
let's eat a little food. Hey, this works. Krasnar Gorgorgi Tunnel. Wait a second. This is the snake eater ladder. Oh. Let's make some calls real quick. Snake, the ladder at the end of that shaft should take you up. I see you caught a markor. The markor is a kind of wild goat that lives in mountainous areas. It's quite large, so I don't think you'll be able to capture one alive, even with the tranquilizer gun. All right. Speaking of which, do you know the origin of the name Markor? No. It means snake eater in Persian. Snake eater? Lost your appetite? Not at all. So, <laughs> how does it taste? It's supposed to be pretty good. All right. All right. You've got an M1911A1. Yeah, a 45. 50 years since the army adopted the first model and they're still using them. It's a real gem of an automatic pistol. But aren't you gonna need more than just one little handgun? Not at all. When you're in a tight spot or fighting in close quarters, sometimes a handgun works better than a rifle. And if I equip a knife at the same time, I can instantaneously switch over to hand-to-hand -to -hand combat. I see. That 45 you've got there is a lot different from the original, though. Looks like someone did some serious work on it. Uh-huh. It's more than a little. First of all, the feeding ramp is polished to a mirror sheen. It's not going to have any feeding problems. The slide's been replaced with a reinforced version, and it meshes perfectly with the frame. The frame itself has been iron-welded and scraped down multiple times for maximum precision. The front strap part of the frame has been checkered to make it dig into the hand. That prevents any slipping. The sight system's original, too. It's a three-dot type. It's got an enlarged front sight, giving it superior target sighting capability. The regular hammer's been replaced with a ring hammer. That enhances the cocking control and increases the hammer down speed. They also reworked the grip safety to accommodate the ring hammer. Looks like they eliminated it altogether. This is a tool for pros. The thumb safety and the slide stop are extended to allow for more precise handling. The base of the trigger guard is whittled down so you can use a high grip. And the trigger itself is a long type for easy finger access. The trigger pull is about 3.5 pounds. That's about a pound and a half lighter than normal. The magazine well has been widened to make it easier to put in a new magazine. The magazine catch button has been cut down low to make it harder to hit it by mistake. The mainspring housing has been changed to a flat type to increase grip. And it's even been fitted with stepping so it doesn't slip from the recoil when firing. On top of that, they added cocking serrations to the front part of the slide. That lets you load and eject cartridges faster in an emergency. Whoever did this is a professional. No question, this thing could shoot a one hole at 25 yards in a machine rest. Well, I'll be damned. That's some gun. Yeah, I've never used a weapon this fine in my life. All right, I'm saving. Do you want to save? Yes, please. My wife is coming home. So is Snake, have you ever seen the War of the Worlds? Yes, multiple versions. These flying saucers from Mars arrive on Earth disguised as meteorites. The saucers use their heat rays to attack the nearby towns. And then... Um... Something wrong. Uh, the thing is, I was too scared to watch. I had my eyes shut almost the whole time. Then you haven't seen it. No, it's not that. It's based on a novel by H.G. Wells. You haven't seen it, have you? That does remind me, though. 
When I was two years old, my father listened to the radio drama version of the story. It was right after dinner on Sunday, and we were relaxing in the living room. They said monsters had come out of a meteorite that landed in New Jersey. It sounded just like a real live news broadcast. My father said he and my older brother actually believed it and started yelling and panicking. My mother supposedly grabbed me from my crib and took me out to the car, still wrapped up in blankets. But then, just as my dad was about to start the car, he realized that it was all just a radio drama. Because on the car's radio, they were playing Bing Crosby tunes. No matter what station he turned to, no one else seemed to be reporting on this big history-making news story. Sounds like something out of the big broadcast. Nobody said a word. We all went back to our rooms. My father and brother got off with a scolding from my mother, but I was the one who really suffered. After that incident, every time I acted up, my father and brother would scare me by saying, The Martians are coming! The Martians are coming! Isn't it, though? So, you haven't seen the movie. I... I saw it. So... So even nuclear weapons wouldn't work against the Martian war machines. Uh... -huh. Anyway, Snake, if you conceal yourself like the Martians did, the enemy won't know what hit them. Conceal myself? Maybe not in a meteorite, but if you can hide yourself inside something a little more close at hand. Mm, close at hand. Something like a box. Ah, uh, I get it. So, you never saw the movie. I saw it, all right? Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you're having a great morning, night, even day, birthday, if it's your birthday. I hope you're having a great one. I hope your summer is warm, breezy, and trees are not falling on you. I love you guys. You're beautiful as hell. And I will see you in the jungle next time. Goodbye!